A strong reaction on Facebook and Twitter over Governor Kemp's promise to work for unity across our state. He made it a focus of his first day in office after a divisive and controversial campaign and election. Many comments revealing once again the deep divide in Georgia politics, but we're also seeing some voters evaluating Brian Kemp's promises carefully and saying they're waiting to see where he and we go from here. Here's 11 Alive's John Shirek. And as governor, I will fight for all Georgians, not just the ones that voted for me. The cheers from Brian Kemp's inauguration promise on Monday to seek to unify Georgia's political and racial divisions now ringing in Alicia Gray's thoughts. Alicia Gray has lived in Decatur for 12 years. She followed the controversial campaign and disputed the election closely. So, like I said, I find it hard to believe. Not sure she can trust the new governor promising unity after she says he ran his own election as Secretary of State. Gray says Kemp needs to listen to his critics, hear them as loud as his supporters' cheers. And then it would behoove him to maybe ask some of the people that are we're in the opposition party, for a lack of a better term, to join his cabinet. Maybe he needs some opinions and, and advice from people who weren't on his team initially. There is common ground in Georgia. Alicia Gray is convinced of that. We all need to eat. We all need work. We all need to take care of their kids. Everybody needs child care. Everybody, you know, needs to get to work in a car or on tra public transportation. And it comes down to the fundamentals of we're all human first. And if we can't see the differences in each other and appreciate them, then we're, we're going to lose no matter what. Claudio Fergiuelli, owner of a downtown Atlanta sandwich shop, also watched the controversial governor's election closely to make sure, he says, his vote would count. He is an immigrant. He didn't care for a lot of the rhetoric in the campaign, willing to give Kemp a chance to unify the state. I'm going to take the man for his word, uh, and I'm going to see that, I'm going to hope that he is a man of his word, and that he brings people together and not divides. Um, because if you can't bring people together, in you know in short order he's going to be replaced by somebody else he sees Kemp walking the thinnest of tight ropes trying to please his base and his opponents in the name of unity in Atlanta John Shirick 11 alive news